Hi there everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel, Trinergy Awakened Naturally. So we're on the road to Canyon City. Today is the Sirius Stargate, however, let me get to the download that I got. <laughs> it's pretty intense, I mean really super hella intense, which doesn't surprise me because today is the Sirius Stargate. Um, the download I got was, if you can't transcend some death magic, death spell, or some casting aspersions against somebody and hoping they drop dead. If you can't transcend that, don't be sending it, you know? <laughs> like, what kind of nonsense is that? There is a lot of turbulence in the air right now. The ethers are, oh my God, busy with very, very, very much um, the spiritual warfare stuff being kicked up across the globe on many different levels, as well as in these Bitter Boots families that are refusing to let go of their raunchy timelines and their raunchy generational curses or generational traumas, old world wounding. People that do not want to let go and transcend their ego, they're still trying to throw it out here somewhere. And man, that download came in clear as a bell. If you can't transcend it, then don't send it because it comes back. I, I don't do black magic. I don't uh, perform any type of magic at all other than the magic of hearing spirit speak to me and tell me what I need to do to be in total clarity with surrendering to the process of working with my energy using no tools in particular except for whatever I'm asked to grab. Sometimes I'm asked to grab a rock or sometimes I'm asked to just sit on a particular boulder or go and talk to a tree or do something like that. However, I don't agree with formalized magic of any kind um, when it's used used for the non-divine. When anything gets perverted and bastardized into its ugliest version, I ain't about it. So me personally, I don't um, align with magic or any form of any anything that does not support divinity. So it doesn't matter to me what people do. Magic is magic, it matters not to me what you do as long as it's magic that's working for the good of humanity because that's the mission we're on now, the golden age. We're here, we're not in the dark ages anymore. And so people that are still stuck in their bad ideas, their bad paradigms, and their refusal in that age of Pisces stuff, their refusal to believe that your days are up, man. We aren't doing this this way anymore. Um, I have a great deal of compassion for human suffering. And I also know that when you're looking on that through that lens, that's the warrior suit that looks through that and says, that's what you chose and you will bring back suffering to your own doorstep. Not because I'm casting it towards you, not because I'm returning to sender. I don't have to. That's the true transcended magic is to stand in the power of knowing that as a light warrior, a light worker, a star seed, all of these things that I might identify with, as someone who's standing in righteous understanding of what we're here to do, I don't have to do anything except allow you to destroy yourself um, when you do those kinds of things. Take evasive action when necessary and definitely take defensive action. And there goes a hawk. Thank you very much. That you cannot screw with the universe and get away with it. They're one of the biggest people in my life, ironically enough, right? No, <laughs> not so ironic. One of the biggest people in my life who was one of the um, most horrible and really treated me very much like mm, a pariah, like I was a pariah, he used to tell me, you can't screw the world and get away with it. You can't screw the universe and get away with it. And yet that was a person dedicated to getting her way in very dark, manipulative fashion. And <clears throat> when I finally broke away with it, away from it, it started becoming clearer to me and getting downloads. Like if you can't be throwing it um, and transcend it, then don't throw it. If you can't wish someone ill and be able to get up off your own sick bed, then don't be saying those things or doing those things. And <clears throat> my angle is, why would you be doing that anyway? We're not there anymore where we use anything in its perverted form. We need the balance of good and bad, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever it is, we need the balance of things. And so all of those places where spirituality, magic, religion, politics, education, vocation, academia, whatever it is, where all of those places everywhere that is still out of balance, it's going to need to come into balance and it doesn't come into balance by continuing to pervert and do those things in those ways that already didn't work. And so <clears throat> when I'm called to look through a particular lens, even though 
<coughs> excuse me, I am a light warrior, so to speak. I understand things and I understand things from a different perspective and I'm here for healing. Sometimes healing looks like letting people just explode into their own nightmare of self-destruction because they won't learn any other way. And as an indigo or a Blu-ray, <coughs> Blu-rays can look like real destroyers. We can look like real assholes whenever we come in and say, no, you know, after years of abuse, after years of putting up with people saying and doing things that are very unkind, when we finally wake up and understand that, oh, this is not part of the divine. It is not part of the divine for me to allow people <clears throat> to destroy me or to take me off of my mission for who I serve, which is divinity. I don't serve a human face. I don't even uh, serve my own human face. I serve the divinity within me because I'm here for a greater understanding. And when Blu-rays understand that about themselves, they can be quite destructive in appearance in that, no, you've been lying to me, you're lying to people that I care about, you're lying to people on my team, you're lying to people in my collective, whatever it is, you know, wherever our angle is that we pick up our passion and start running with it, the people then have a choice point. You know, <clears throat> that's what we are here to do, many light workers. That's exactly what we're here to do is to bring the truth, bring the light and say, you have a choice point of which way would you like to go with this? Do you want to continue to fight about this? Do you want to continue to show up in your bravado and your arrogance and <clears throat> continue to try to tell the light that dark prevails? The light has no reason whatsoever to do anything except brighten up and allow that to just dissolve and sizzle with every time that it tries to come up against it. That's what the battle is. And looking through the lens of <clears throat> a human being, I'm not going to fight a whole human being. Um, you know, I've been in those situations pulling away from that kind of treachery and that kind of just bad ideas and bad thinking and bullshit and manipulation and horrific, you know, cruelty stuff. People just, ew, really nasty intentions and very cruel intentions. Pulling away from all of that, <coughs> I don't wish any ill on anyone. The crazy thing is, is that I don't have to. Those are the people that take themselves out and they wind up... <clears throat> because they're in, you know, a remedial education class with Blu-rays across the whole entire globe, light workers, etc. That the remedial education is you're brought to a choice point and you continue to double down on that. <clears throat> Pardon me. My throat chakra is absolutely fine. And I see, I don't know if you can see it. There's a ray coming in that, yeah, my throat chakra is fine. Even if there's booger in there, it's still going to bring uh, the truth regardless because we can't stop the truth. Even if Kate got stopped for half a second, even if Kate dropped dead, the truth still remains. And so people that are stuck in their arrogance and in their human avatar dumb shit, you know, <clears throat> we're on some dumb shit now still. It blows my mind. And I had a whole scenario unfolding as I was getting that download of if you can't transcend death, then don't be speaking death or sending death. And I know for me personally, there are people in my background that they practice that crap. They do that. They're into it. And it doesn't matter. Even if we are not into a formalized program of some kind, our mouths are spelling constantly. That's what a spell is, is speaking into existence. And when we're just blindly, blithely <clears throat> opening up our mouths and saying stupid stuff, or we're wishing harm, we're gossiping, we're saying things that we're holding other people in our mouths in a very unkind um, and unholy, unsacred way then we are spelling our own existence and there's no need for me to get involved on trying to return that or get involved in it. I'm merely given the snapshot of it that, ew, that looks really unpleasant whenever that all comes back and lands on somebody's plate of here's what you purchased for yourself. You sat down at a restaurant, got greedy and started ordering a whole bunch of stuff off that menu and then went a la carte with some weird shit that, okay, did you know what you were ordering when you opened your mouth blindly, blithely, arrogantly, and assuming that your 3D avatar was going to be able to transcend whatever you were sending out. Just because we see other people who appear to be getting away with stuff, every level of this game, every level of the, <clears throat> excuse me, breakdown and the destruction of the old paradigm, 
it's destroying itself because it can't handle the new frequencies every single facet of it has to answer to those imbalances and whatever it looks like if it looks like magic that was cast in a very bad and ha hateful nasty way then it comes back that way if it has to do with demons that were sent demons come and visit if voodoo you know was sent voodoo comes back it's all in whatever field of existence we've created this hellscape then we're going to have to deal with that hellscape and possibly more as we continue to open up portals of darkness that the veil is very thin <clears throat> of course and non-existent it's also very thin and non-existent uh, existent on the dark side that people are opening up portals with their mouth saying and believing and doing things that are very dark nasty and hateful and cruel then you're opening up realms to understand this on every level that earth is playing dark then let's see what that looks like over here in this closet and we're finding people that are losing their minds they appear to be you know in psychotic breaks and they are because the human mind can't process all of it however that's a spiritual crisis and a whole spiritual um, battle that's been brought on unnecessarily because an ego would not allow <laughs> the human to transcend and move this very kindly into the new era the new age of Aquarius which isn't about any of that dark stuff and these timelines that are hanging on for dear life they're going to go down regardless it's like you know trying to say that the Titanic isn't sinking you can yield with it and play and you know the violin until you drown or you can be trying survival mode to keep the ship from sinking or you can go and get a, a, a boat that nobody else is getting in because they're busy grabbing and growling and panicking and stuff it's we get to choose that's where our free will gets to choose however <clears throat> our free will also gets to choose to do something better than anyone in our timeline has ever brought. The dirtiest, most stank-ass person in a timeline, especially ones that are still alive and, and directing traffic, that will be the weakest link to that timeline and is exactly, pardon me, is exactly what light workers, star seeds, indigos, however you identify, the chosen people that are high-level energy workers and actually see that stuff in action and move it in a very <laughs> healing way transformative way not pleasant necessarily but transformative that's exactly what those people are there to do is to help the most stank ass person the most stank ass energy the lowest vibrational stuff that's the common denominator it becomes that for that timeline and generational wounding that has come out of that can be absolutely hugely um, affected and changed radically by getting to that nugget however it means unpleasant conversations unpleasant confrontations and unpleasant awareness that sometimes people are blowing themselves up and they have to be allowed to do that because that's what they chose buttercup you know that is what we choose we choose every bit of what we're doing here when we are consciously choosing and when we are consciously choosing to sin as it were or to walk into the darkness and play with the darkness then pay up you know a lot of people call that the devil coming to get his dues or whatever however you look at it it doesn't matter you cannot keep it in an imbalance any longer and serious stargate these these are the most powerful transmissions of the year and for some of us i mean across the board um along with the uh, coronal mass ejections and sun burps that we're having and Neptune in retrograde. I mean, you're messing with cosmic forces. And so if you cannot throw it out there and sustain what you just threw out, don't start shit you can't finish, you know. Don't start shit that you couldn't have come back. You know, please allow the the mystery to be solved before we ever get engaged in places where just because we think someone's stupid just because we think they're weak just because in our arrogance we don't know our opponent our opponents <laughs> when we tie them up and we think we know better we're already wrong because there are many people who don't want to be opponents they don't want to have to defend or offend they don't want to go in either direction of that however when they suit up I hear it right now click 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 when the the armies that stand with these light workers and light warriors and stuff when the galactic presence stands up with them and Sirius Stargate and all these transits and stuff man you're screwing with things that you can't fuck the universe to get away with it there's no such thing no matter how powerful we've been in our human identity that means absolutely nothing anymore so anyway that's enough of that I'm gonna go and transmute some stuff some unpleasant from my own personal life of ew that's sad it's gross 
it's nasty and it's yours so let me go and see you know get in losers how we're going into the mountains to transmute that and allow the the ground which can transmute this far better than I can the icky that was trying to land this morning oh no blu-ray we're gonna go cast it to a place that can transcend that better because that's what it's better able to do than me and my humanness getting all stuck with the uh, the sad the gross the whatever so anyway have a beautiful day no matter what part of the day you're in 1444 friend take care of yourself and get within your skin because you're divine it's absolutely fine it's popping if you're getting this and you're still here it's popping you're absolutely fine take care of your gorgeous selves and i'll see you again next time <laughs> goodbye friends Mwah.